So now only thing is left is to work on this keyboard because as soon as I'm clicking on the salary, I'm not able to see the salary field, right? So let's see how we can work on that. So what we can do is uh, we can create a one state variable, let's say, right? And yeah, so in here, just uh, uh, let's give it a name of, let's say, uh, enable enable shift right and here we'll use set e enable enable shift right shift and initially that will be of false right so here we can use use state and initially that will be of false uh not like this f f a l s e false right uh it should be set uh set uh enable set e n a b l e enable let me write s capital s h i f t like so yeah so what i will do is i have imported keyboard avoiding view right yeah so what i will do i will wrap everything with the keyboard avoiding view where is our text yeah so i will wrap everything with the keyboard uh let's say keyboard avoiding view this one and yeah and i will give it a behavior position now we have a couple of behaviors such as height padding and position this padding will what will it will do it will decrease the padding between between the text inputs but since we don't have enough padding so this will not work uh, so position will work position what position will do it will shift uh, our text input upward right and just uh, copy this ending tag control x or you just cut it and just put it onto the bottom it here right and just copy this root style uh, control x or cut it rather and give it here now this keyboard avoiding view will be not enabled right so it will be enabled to false right now we have given a variable we have made a variable right so which is initially false that is enable shift so just copy this up right and we can just pass it in here right let's see let's see if if our keyboard avoiding view is not should not kick in right if we am clicking out in name it, it is not uh, keyboard avoiding view is not working right it is not working it uh, it is not working it should work when i click on the salary and position right and position right it should only work when, when i click on salary and position so let's see how we can do that so just find the salary where it is where our where is our salary okay now here i think i can define like focus we have something called on focus yeah in, in this on focus uh what we can do is uh let's update our state so we can just pass a function here let's say and here i can set set uh e and a enable shift and that will be two tr ue true like so uh, let's save this out and just copy this control c give this to this our position text also now let's see if it works so if i click on the salary uh, it is pushing it to uh, pushing everything uh, upwards if i click on the position now it is showing everything if i click on the phone okay still it is uh moving upward and if i click on the name okay so once this is enabled uh to true then uh, uh when we click on this still this keyboard avoiding view is enabled right so in here on focus we need to make that false right yeah we can do that let's copy this up Control c when user clicks on this name so this should not be enabled so let's this should be false right so it should be false right yeah just copy this control c and give it to email as well right and give it to uh phone number as well right okay let's save this out and now everything should work as expected so we if we click on name it is not working click on email it is not working click on phone it is not being click on salary it is working click on phone position it is working again let's say if we click on email it is not working right and this is what exactly we wanted right okay so i think this is the end of the our series right i am planning to add uh, redux videos in future as well but as of now i am tired now right so 
uh, i will see you guys up in the my next course or i will catch you guys up on my youtube channel so yes till then bye bye